All right, we're on our way out of Captain Marvel. We just saw it. You love it. We love it. I don't know if you love it. Let me we know in the comments. It. Let us know in the comments I if know. you loved it. People must have haven't seen it yet. Let us know in the comments after you see it. See, we're trying to build a community around movies. All right, so this is me and Michelet's new segment. Please watch the road. On our drive home from these movies, we're gonna give our initial thoughts after the movie on the drive home. So we All have right, a limited so, okay, Kyle, time. what did you think about Captain Marvel? I thought it was Without great. giving spoilers away. All right, no spoilers. And watch out for this car next to you. We'll give you guys a big heads up if we're doing spoilers. We're not doing that now. We'll, we'll keep it light, we'll keep it light. Uh, I liked it. It took a lot of my expectations, flipped them on their head. Flipped them and reversed them. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where to start. Yeah, I think we were, we were talking like it kind of starts off like a little slow and I was like, oh, this is kind of, oh yeah, oh, we got to pay to get out of here and stuff. Yeah. Sorry, sorry guys. We'll, we'll figure this out. Um, yeah, it started off kind of slow. Like I'm guilty of reading early reviews. I know that you hate that I do that. I hate doing that. And um, I don't like when people talk about that. <laughs> I have no idea how to get out of here. All right, so the... Oh wait, do I even have the thing? All right, we're doing this live. We're doing this live. Okay, we're good. Lesson we're good. for next time, do it after you get out of the parking structure. This is part of the whole thing, okay? I want to show my credit card number <laughs> oh, on the thing. So, okay. we'll just look at me right Erase now. that, uh, uh, delete that. Delete that part. Okay, right. so, here we go. All right, um, yeah, we're at, you know, his window doesn't work, so he has to. We're in Glendale. Door. This is how we do it. Oh, hey, they let us out for free. Woo! All right, let me put this away. Don't charge anything on my card. Okay. So yeah, the movie was good, but I yeah I read the earlier reviews and they were saying like. Uh, one of the headlines was oh now a woman gets a mediocre superhero movie. It was not mediocre. Which BS, but. Full disclosure, that's what I said about Wonder Woman. Which I also enjoyed, but not as much as Captain Marvel. Wonder Woman was not good. You disagree. Wonder Woman was not good. No, was, I agree that... No, it was I cheesy, it was written poorly, I didn't care about I, any of the characters. Let me get a word in. This right, is about ahead. women. Okay? Yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're and right. as a woman, and I think this should be as a person, but like... Let's get the review from the woman, okay? Oh, all right. So, Wonder Woman, I liked. I liked a lot. I also like his like historical pieces. I like the war scene and all that kind of stuff. But I really, 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 really liked Captain Marvel. Yeah. It was. I I loved that there wasn't a love scene. Oh, are these spoilers? No spoilers. No, that's fine. There's just, Who cares about that? There's no. There was no love scene. Or like love storyline, which a lot of female protagonist movies always have to have. So it's like f that, you know. I'm gonna keep this family friendly. F well, that. What was interesting about that too, like I didn't even think about that until you brought it up after the movie. Like yeah. I was just watching it. Yeah. And then you're like, there wasn't even a love story in that, and I was like, whoa. And yeah, it, it and it as didn't a even woman, matter. they like people. Hollywood always has to have some fantastic romance story, and it's like, just show me it kick-ass woman tearing some stuff up yeah. and you know keeping this PG for the kids um, and it's amazing you can have a, a movie led by a female protagonist without it having to be always about a love story like there was the only thing that was Wonder like, Woman love, a love, weird love yeah thing, that's right? why I, I loved Captain Marvel yeah and I do really appreciate the friendship that Captain Marvel had with a friend and like so it's like a female like friendship <coughs> bond i'm not looking at the camera when i'm talking i'm just like looking off into yonder but um that's fine it's this is a podcast they're just listening oh okay great um all right this, i've got my uh the perfect radio voice okay good oh yeah the perfect face for radio that's how they say it oh yeah anyways okay. um it was just so good and like it was just it's what well, it's, like and also for a female a woman's month, you know, it was just they they knew what they were doing when they released this movie in March. 
happy International Women's Month. It definitely, baby. yeah, it definitely had a lot of good, like, hell yeah, like stuff happening. I was like, oh yeah, like, like a, I don't, I don't know. There like, are I, some I beautiful the, scenes too. The the scenes of her in space and fighting. Oh, yeah, her her flying around on fire. Beautiful, really good. twirling around. Oh, but they, I will say, her hair, her hair was flawless. The entire time. It was amazing. It was like, Candace had a great word for it. Uh, the billowing waves yeah, or whatever. Like, it was like just. The entire, even in space. She <laughs> did the whole thing. Her hair was in her face. It was oh, okay. Her, uh, who was the actress that played her friend? She was like, uh, like she was like affecting me when she was like talking about like yeah. you're my best friend and she stuff. Was, like, she, was, was, she was good. A bad ass. They were both two badass women. But she was like a good actress. Yeah, she was, like, they had her name. Whoever on that the, was. We can look it up. Hey, you get you you heard it here first. You're gonna see her again. You she, will. That, that was a good good performance by Captain Marvel's friend. Yeah. yeah, but she was more than her friend. They were, they were, uh, you know. She was like single mother. Single Captain mother, Marvel watch out was for helping this her. Car. Watch out for this I car. got it. Was helping her raise, raise her kids. You know, see, this is the excitement of doing this review while we're driving. There's like a little danger, <laughs> a little danger involved. I'm not holding the camera. But it's just so great. And then there's a little, the her friend's daughter was super cute and just like super full of wonder. Super full of wonder. <laughs> Yeah, and I want her to. Uh, it was, uh, she was just like it was so it was so touching. It was just females of both you know different ages, like sharing like a bond of like just badass camaraderie and love and appreciation for each other, and it was just like really good. I really appreciated that movie. I thought it was uh, back to like I was saying some of the early reviews I read were like, oh now a, like now a woman gets to lead a mediocre Marvel movie, and I was like, oh. I thought it would like it had it had the classic like Marvel humor in it, but it, it didn't seem like it was kind of retreading old territory. No. Like it was new good humor, new good that, humor that was funny. Like yes. there, there was nothing. An I animal like, made me laugh. Which is not oh, surprising because yeah, I the, love a, a, cat, a cute yeah, animal. The cat, the cat had some good gags. Yes. Um, no pun intended. But I think what we want to, because we <laughs> yeah. we saw Aquaman recently and we didn't do a video review, but I wish we but did. But this isn't the, this takes. isn't the video for an Aquaman. No, no. Review. What I'm saying is what what the Aquaman. Don't pitfall. let a man overtake this female story. No, because she walks all over. Because Aquaman, ha they in that one movie they introduced like seven different races from all over the ocean and like six of them just you see them and then they die and it's just all this stuff like you, you don't learn anything about them or anything it's just like oh here's these crab people they look cute oh now they're all dead <laughs> cool but in this one like they focus it just on the scrolls and on um the the Cree or whatever yeah. and humans I guess but they, they focus on like kind of little teams of like a handful of them. So you really get to know them throughout the whole movie. It's more intimate, if you will. Yeah, exactly. And the scrolls like have a pretty cool arc in this movie. Uh, don't want to give any spoilers no or anything. Spoilers. But like the the scrolls the scrolls were cool and you're not gonna expect what's coming. Mark my words. Oh, also, so let's, we're, no, we're getting close to... No, we're not okay. done yet. I want to say a few words. Well, no, I... Okay, yeah. What? No, I, was, I wanted to get to, like, implications for the next Avengers movie before we end this. <laughs> so say, say what <laughs> you're going to say. Say what you're going to say. I just really appreciate, like, the, the story. Like, because they were able to focus... They only focused on a few groups. You were able to really get the, the storyline... Storylines were developed, um... I really appreciate always like learning about the little backstories of, you know, little things that you see and you've seen in past films of present day, but then you go back and then because this film was based in like early 90s, which was great. The music was great. I love when the soundtrack is a great and compliments the movie. Um, anyways, I really appreciate the small, it was focused, you know. DC movies, Warner Brothers, not too to much. call you out. It's too, too much. much. You got to keep it focused. Reel it in. Take a lesson. Take a page out of out of Marvel's books. 
Um, don't copy them because we know it'll be fake. But, you know, like, there's a lot to be learned. Just yes. saying. Okay, that's all I have to say. But also, all the, really quick, all the, like, Marvel tie-in stuff to it. Like, I heard that, too. Like, oh, there was just all this. They're just connecting the dots for the it Marvel was Universe. But and that's what that, I thought people, it worked pretty well. Like, yes. Nick Fury was a good kind of sidekick to her. Yes, and that's what people... Which I thought people, was cool. Which also, Nick Fury was the sidekick. Yeah, like, and wow. that's what people keeps people coming back because they're invested they know the story isn't just like bam 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 here's all this stuff blah, blah, blah. it's like it's all well developed and it, I'm showing your face as I'm talking and it's like it's it all comes together beautifully it's great well and this one like I don't think it was overwhelming like I think Iron Man being in the last Spider-Man movie I didn't really like that that much because I was like, I just want to see Spider Man. But, but this one, I was okay with Nick Fury being in it, and like the t like, I don't, I didn't think it like overwhelmed the story as much as like Iron Man being in Spider Man did. Okay. But anyway, so moving on. All right. Implications. So implications for Avengers Endgame. That's what you came here for. We're gonna tell you what we think is going on, and the answer is I don't know what's gonna happen. But I gotta open the garage to get in here. Um, Captain Marvel is pretty much like the Superman now of the Marvel Universe. Like Captain Marvel is when Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel shows up, she is not to be compared to a Superman. Well, no, but I, I mean, like, uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I phrase, this I phrase whole that. review has been negated by a man. I phrased that incorrectly, but you like he's like the all-powerful one in in the DC universe. So now Captain Marvel is pretty much the all-powerful one in yes, the Marvel universe. Yes, that's a much better way to phrase that. But Thanos already, hey, we've all seen the first Avengers, so whatever. Thanos already did the snap. All those heroes are already gone. Bye-bye. They can't be brought back just by Captain Marvel punching people. So who's? what's going to happen? How are they going to come back? So she'll come back and be able to beat Thanos, but it's going to be up to Ant-Man and the rest of the crew to bring everyone back and then she's gonna seal the deal by blowing up Thanos, punching him in the those, face, those baby. Are... Woo! So that's what, that's it. That's that's Kyle's hypothesis. We're home, we gotta cut it. Gotta cut it. Emergency break is on. Until next month. I cut it. Cut it.